Okay, next project for today is to get these green lights on the ceiling working again. Uh, this left half here is working because it plugs in right there on that wire and then it comes over here. But the second half plugs in over there on that fixture which is no longer in use. So what I'm going to do is I have a new wire I'm going to use to plug these in. I have this green wire, this has got multiple plugs on it, I hope if you can see it. It's got multiple plugs on it, so that will be able to span the whole wall and plug in both uh, sets. And then it'll plug in at this power bar here. So, um, first I gotta fix, fix that wire. Okay, so the problem is hopefully obvious. This doesn't have a plug on it, so I'm gonna put a plug on it. Okay, well since that didn't work, uh, I'm going to have to use this plug, which is fine. Uh, I like these better, but these are like $1.50. Uh, so I bought some other ones, which are those ones that didn't work. Although you have no idea what I'm talking about unless you've watched the end of the video with the bloops. But anyways, let's uh, put this plug on here. You can still see that. I like these plugs. These work pretty well. Uh, first thing you got to do is pull this off of here, like this, on both sides. And the cord goes through here. There's all this stupid Chinese hazard, lack of common sense warnings on there. Uh, we gotta strip this a little bit. Okay, now, since this is a uh, going to be used with Christmas lights, polarization is irrelevant. Actually, I think this plug, you know, this plug is not polarized, so it doesn't matter. Now, I am going to, whoops, zoom in on this part, because this is kind of important. This, if you mess this up, it's not going to go too well. You have to make sure you twist on the wire in the direction that the screw screws in. So in this case, I'm going to wrap this around like this. And I'm going to make sure it's, it goes all the way around with the use of some tweezers here. Okay, this has worked better in the past. Now I can screw this on and it won't... Uh, won't come off as I screw it in. And do the same thing on the other side here. Yeah. Zoom out a little bit now. Following the same procedure as on the other side. Of course that time it went far better. Well, maybe not. Okay. And ideally, you don't have a lot of extra copper wire showing, which is how it is, so this is good. Go ahead and stick this back on. This is ready to go. Okay, new wires up. Let's go take a look at it over here. That's the initial connection right there at the end. Powers the right side. And there's an empty plug there. I'm not going to use that for anything. And then the second half plugs in right there. Zoom in a little bit more. And then the whole contraption plugs in right here to this uh, X10 thingy. I should probably put the image stabilizer on. There we go. And this is good because 
looks much better than only having one wire there, not two. And uh, saves me this other module, which I have plans for. So, should be number three. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And there they go. The green lights are on. And now the whole room is working. Let's see what it looks like in the dark. I'll turn the lights off. There we go. Looks pretty cool. Okay. Thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and out. No, 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 not out. Not out. I, I forgot to mention this. This light fixture back there. Uh, that one I'm going to remove now because it has no purpose over there. And uh, hopefully I will get a new fixture to put there which puts out more light than just that single ceramic thing. Okay, now out. I have... Oh, oh boy. I have this green... Got some new plugs here. Pull this out of there. Stuff this through. If I can get it to fit through. Well, we may have to use a different kind of plug because this, this is not cooperating here. 